Holy Wire Mod here, and this is going to be video 3A in the How to Build series, where I'm going to be going over an introduction of console screens, and I'm going to show you how to make a selection menu as well. So let's start by giving console screen, which is under the screen uh, sections and visuals. And then I'm going to get expression 2 chip, and we're only going to need uh, inputs and outputs for this one. So let's start by making a wire link, which I'm going to get into a little bit later. And then we're going to have an up, down, and enter button with outputs as count, which I'll show you a little bit later as well. So with wire link and specifically a selection menu, uh, the most important command here is right string. So we're going to be doing that, and right string, you start with the uh, string that you want, so we're going to have an X and we're going to be uh, putting an X coordinate and a Y coordinate on the screen of 0. Then we're going to have red, green, blue value of 9, 9, 9 respectively. So it's 9 red, 9 green, and 9 blue. And that's going to have a background color of 0, 0, 0, red, green, blue, which is just represented by 0 in this case. So let us wire that up and show you what happens. We have to update the expression 2 chip but you'll see. Alright, wire link, and then we go to create wire link on the output section of the screen. Alright, so here we have an X, now let me update that, and actually let's put a background nail 333, which is going to say red, green, blue is equal to 333 respectively, which is going to give us gray. Alright, so we're going to have a gray, uh, gray background. So, the maximum dimensions of the screen uh, it goes in the X direction, 30 units, so if you want to hit that top right corner or the first quadrant of the screen, you put 30 minus 1, which is 29, because remember, 0 is the first um, position. Alright, so you can fit uh, 30 X's along that row. And in the Y uh, direction, you have 18, so we have 18 minus 1, which is going to be 17, and that's going to put X in the bottom left-hand corner, or quadrant 3. And if we want to go into quadrant 4 at the right hand, um, bottom right hand corner, then we want to put a 29 and a 17. Alright, so bam. So if you want to really think of this uh, as an XY plane, we should first put an if first or loop statement. And this is good procedure when making these console screens because you can put your initial conditions and all the background stuff in your screen here. That way it doesn't take too many ops when you're writing it over and over again, say if you have an interval command out here. But we have wire link, and we're going to put right string, and we're going to set up an x axis. So we're going to set up 30 of these dashes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 20. Actually, no, what? Just to be safe, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and we're going to copy and paste. There we go. So there we go, we have 30 and we're going to put it at a position of 0 and 9. 9 is 18 divided by 2, which is going to give us the halfway point in the uh, y axis. So we're going to put 999, nine, nine, giving us a color of white and a background of 0. All right, so this is going to give us an x axis. And if we want a y axis, then we're going to put a for loop, which I cover in tutorial aid and expression 2 series. And I'm going to set initial i equals 0, which is going to represent this 0 right here. And then I'm going to set it to a maximum value of 17, representing this 17 right here. And it's going to increment by 1 for each pass of the loop. So then I'm going to say, actually, if i is not equal to 9, then I want it to write a string. And that's because on the ninth. Uh, row right here, we already have a character being written, and I don't want to overwrite it, so we're going to put right string, and then we're going to have this character right here as a division, division line acting as the uh, y-axis. 30 divided by 2 is 15. We're going to set it to i, and then 9, and 0. And that's going to print a bunch of lines down the middle, giving us the y-axis. So now I'm going to write a code which says uh, what quadrant I'm in, and it's going to select from quadrant 1 to 2, 3 to 4, alright? So it's going to be kind of like a list uh, that you commonly see in other tutorial videos like this. So we're going to say if up and count is less than 4, then we want count plus plus. So this count less than 4 is going to act as a control because we only have 4 options here and counts initialized as 1. So we want to increment uh, when it's a value of 3, but when it's a value of 4 we want to stop incrementing. All right. So we're going to do else if for the down version of this and then we're going to say 
and when count is uh, less than one. I'm sorry, greater than one. And then we're going to say count minus minus. And then we're going to have one more else if for the enter button. And this is going to be like our, our actions. When we have, uh, we select whatever, then we're going to do this. We're going to print you are in quadrant. And then we're going to put count. All right? All right. And we're going to need to get rid of the space. So remember, this is to say count is equal to count plus one. This is to say count is equal to count minus one. All right? So we have an error. And that's because I forgot. Make this lowercase. All right. All right, no more errors. So that's good. That's good. Now we need to actually set it up to where um, these will change color to show you the selection. All right? And we're going to need to set up some buttons as well, which is why I exited in the first place. So we're going to have an up button for up. Then we're going to have a down button for the down. And you probably guessed it. We're going to have enter for enter. All right. So let's wire it up. So we're going to have up for up, down for down, and enter for enter. And now let's go and create the highlight feature. So normally people like to do if statements and whatnot, and that's fine and dandy, but I found a lot more efficient way. There's a mathematical formula I came up with, um, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. And it's been very useful in my own uh, expression two chips. So our initial value is going to be 333. It's a shade of gray, but if we want to select um, something, we let's say we want the selection color to be a red background. So that's a value of 900 because you have red being 9 and green and blue right here are values of 0, so it's just purely red. All right, but uh, 900 minus 333 is 567. So we need 567. Now we're going to need some kind of control time this, this 567. We're going to need a 1 times 567, which is going to make this a value of 300. Or we're going to need a 0 times it, which is going to make it a value of 333 plus 0. All right? So to do that, here's the formula. We're going to start with count and divide it by 1, which is going to indicate selection number 1. Then we're going to subtract the floor of 1, indicating that count of 1 again, divided by count itself. All right? And then we're going to knot the whole thing. So when count is equal to 1, 1 divided by 1 is 1, minus the floor of 1 divided by 1, which is 1. So it's going to be 1 minus 1, which is going to give 0. The opposite of 0 is 1. We multiply that 1 times this number, and then we get 900. And when it's not 1, it'll give you uh, this will give you a result which is equal to um, zero or something that's not zero. Then not zero becomes zero. Zero times this equals this. All right. So if that's a little confusing, don't worry about it too much. Um, I'll go over it maybe later. Who knows? So let's quickly set this up, and we're going to modify all the values. So just put two, three, and four right here. Two, three, and four. And that sets up these equations for selection 1, 2, 3, and 4, respectively. All right. So now we have a selection. So let's press the down arrow and the up arrow, rather. So it's going to select through the quadrant. So we press Enter. You are in quadrant 1. You go up. You are in quadrant 2. You are in quadrant 3. And you are in quadrant 4. And likewise, we go down. But when I press up, notice I can't go up anymore past this point. And when I go down, I can't go down anymore past that point. And that is because of this. So if I want to make it to where it goes like in a circle, instead of a selection list, it's a selection circle and can go backwards and forwards, what you do is you get rid of this condition. So we're going to actually cut this out, get rid of this, and say right here, if then we're going to paste what I just cut out and flip the sign from less than to greater than. If count is greater than 4, then count is going to equal 1. And we're going to do the same exact thing right here. We're just flipping the sign. So we're saying that when count is less than 1, count equal 4. So now, as you can see, it goes in a circle for selection, and backwards as well. Everything works, and 
All right, that covers the basics of making a selection menu. So in the next video, I'll be covering uh, more things about console screens. And until then, I'll see you next time.